Let's look at ways we're proposing to assist future electrification and electric vehicle, or EV, charging in homes. To support a move to a net zero future, homes may need to be electrified so they can use the renewable energy that will be increasing within the electricity grid. We're proposing changes to the housing provisions that'll make it easier to replace gas-powered appliances with electric ones in the future for a low cost. We're also proposing changes that allow for the ongoing uptake of electric vehicles, EVs. The National Electric Vehicle Strategy has predicted that EVs will make up 50% of new vehicle sales by 2030. To help facilitate the future electrification of houses, we worked with our peak technical committee, the Building Codes Committee, or BCC, and key stakeholders, including the Electric Vehicle Council of Australia and the Commonwealth Department of Climate Change, Energy, the Environment and Water, or DQ, to refine the proposed NCC changes. The first proposed change is a requirement for more switchboard capacity for a house or class one building. This involves amendments to 13.7.10. Our research showed that for a house intending to use a combination of gas and electricity as the energy source of appliances, a minimum of eight empty single phase circuit breaker slots is required. While for a house with electricity only as the energy source, a minimum of four empty single phase circuit breaker slots is required. To support future EV charging, we're also proposing to change subclause 13.7.11 to require infrastructure to support faster domestic charging of an electric vehicle in the garage or carport of the home. Our work found that if a house has at least one car parking space, the main switchboard needs at least one single phase circuit terminating at the car parking space. This circuit needs to be sized to support a load of 32 amps. In addition, a general purpose outlet of at least 15 amps is required. This outlet must be clearly labelled for EV charging. These changes offer low cost support for the uptake of EVs and help the future electrification of houses. A preliminary impact assessment, or PIA, anticipates the increased switchboard capacity would cost approximately $15 if installed at the time of construction. In contrast, if the switchboard capacity is increased later, this could cost approximately $600. These proposed changes will make it easier and cheaper for the future electrification of homes. The PIA also estimated that providing a dedicated 32 amp circuit terminating at a 15 amp outlet would cost $350 per dwelling, but this will prevent significant retrofit costs. This infrastructure will support faster EV charging compared to a standard outlet. If you'd like to provide feedback on this proposed change, visit our dedicated PCD page, abcb.gov.au slash PCD. Here you'll find links to the draft changes for volumes one, two and three and the housing provisions. You'll also find links to support materials and technical documents to help you understand the proposed changes. Finally, this page has a link to our consultation page where you can have your say. The public consultation is open from the 1st of May to the 1st of July 2024. We look forward to your input.